Well, my great allies, it could not last forever. These are dark times. The world has ended, or the world war has ended, I should say. Well, not entirely, anyway. It continues, as you can see right here. Um, but we have, of course, basically given up at this point. Um, our, the enemy has taken Stalingrad, they've taken Moscow, and we are crushed. We are still trying to hold some areas here in uh, Germany, East Germany, etc. But overall, I mean, we're pretty much beat, I think we could say here. Um, so it took us a long time, but the actually the enemy actually managed to beat us, and the People's Republic of China is incredibly still fighting, which is really amazing. Um, so some of the nations fighting with us are still carrying on the international struggle, which I think is pretty awesome. But of course, we are now puppets of the British, which is crazy actually when you think about it. Um, we're actually still leaders of the common turn, but we are essentially at peace with the British and the rest of the world. And uh, they know we have posed no threat to them, so they're going to continue their fight on our international allies. And it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, I know you guys always want me to go to the very end of the game, so I'm going to try to, but these can take a long time. The Czechoslovak Union has capitulated. That, of course, one of our strongest allies, although not one of our more powerful allies at all. So I'm not too concerned about that. But it doesn't really matter. The, the war is going to end. It's really just a matter of time now. And even the Iranians, who have held on for so long, are slightly getting pushed back by the British. The British are taking some nice land. At the same time, they are killing a lot of British. So we've got to give it to them. Uh, this war is at the very least costly for our main enemy. Um, which is supposed to be Japan, but apparently not. So I'm wondering if we can offer peace as head. There we go. Polish People's Republic has capitulated. That wasn't going to take long. Yeah, we can't offer peace because we're no... Well, we are head of the common turn, but we have no real power to make any terms. So at this point, we're really just waiting for the war to end. And I'm trying to see here. Looks like the Iranian People's... Or Iranian um, Communist Republic is currently the only one left standing, really, of any worth. And they're getting pushed pretty badly here. It's going to be interesting to see how long it takes for this all to break down. But communism did triumph for a long time, and I'm pretty sure that we don't get kicked out of power. Um, that being said, I would probably end the Let's Play here. We've come so far, guys. We're almost up to... This will be number 51, I think. Or 53, actually, of our Let's Plays. So we've gone really, really far with this LP. Um, and obviously, as soon as the war ends, hopefully it'll end and we'll be able to save everything. We can get a nice little peace conference so you guys can kind of see what happens there. That's always fun to watch. I want to make sure to save this too because uh, Paradox is a nasty habit, especially with the earlier version here of the game, um, of the game ending when there's a peace conference. And then I have to go back and do all this over again, which obviously I don't want to. So we want to go ahead and want to save our game in my Red Purge save file. And we're going to continue here. We'll watch the international struggle. Over here, I, I would imagine it would suck for the British. I mean, they have to cross all of these mountains, these hills, this rugged terrain. And they're getting hit pretty hard um, from all sides. But I think eventually they will break through here. Um, at this point, they could focus entirely on destroying the Chinese and the Iranians. And I think they're going to do just that. Why can't we just get along, guys? Come on. We were cool at World War II. Remember when we killed Hitler, guys? Remember that? Like, can't we just, you know, split it right down the middle? I don't think we're going to get very good peace turns, especially with Norway taking all of that land. <laughs> um, one thing is for sure, they won't have to worry about us going for Finland for quite a long time. Um, but I do want to see what we're left with. And actually, I don't think they walked into Stalingrad. They, yeah, they left Stalingrad. We still capitulated. So we still have that. They left that as our capital interesting nonetheless let's take a look here at some casualties 1.54 million let's see how many we lost total 3.74 million and the war continues remember it started in 1952 september 52 or was it 53 it's now june of 57 things are crazy yeah, i guess we can build some civilian factories why the hell not what good will it do no, we can't, because this is part of the UK right now, until we get the peace conference. That's right. So this is all United Kingdom territory right now. I was wrong. They didn't let us keep Stalingrad. Um, we do strangely still have some areas here that are Soviet, but I don't see why. No right to claim them. 
right? The British seem to be pushing through Turkey with no problem. And of course, the Hellenic Republic, our biggest threat initially in the beginning of the war, which we crushed with an iron fist, is now back and stronger than ever. So they're going to be bashing us at every possible turn. We really want this war to just go away. No point in going for resources because we don't own any any territory really i mean we own like a few tiny pieces of land over here as you can see but um that's about it and it's actually chinese troops that are defending our land for us so thank you china <laughs> even though it's not really that helpful we might as well go ahead and build a civilian factory here uh we're doing the right thing right even if it's not if we don't get to keep it we're still doing the right thing East pilot promoted. Wow. Okay. Apparently he was over the home islands, so he was over Britain. So apparently some of our pilots are still getting over Britain. It's pretty crazy. And of course the British are now able to push through Spain with with ease, basically. They should be in the Madrid probably within the month, I would guess. And uh, that will kick Spain out of the war, of course. Eventually here there's just going to be no point in continuing the fight. I hope our, our allies see that soon. It is time to discuss peace. And look at that, Greece with 885,000 casualties. So they didn't get it out of this scot-free by any means. And with these guys, I'm sorry to say, I'd rather they, they disband than survive and fight and get crushed here so we're gonna try and just disband all these guys we're disbanding all of our armies we want the war to end sorry you're on your own boys at this point it's in our best interest for the war to take a quick end what the hell is this the federal republic wait a minute let me get a look here Oh, okay, it's West Germany. Never mind. Federal Republic of Germany. They might be able to unify Germany as one. It's all West Germany right now. Fuck you, China! Should have never joined their war. Like, I thought we could beat the Japanese so easily because they were right there, but when the British joined on the Japanese side, I was like, oh, shit. They done caught us. And they did. They caught us pretty damn good, too. We also still have to worry about the Iraqis, but I don't think the Iraqis are much of a threat. We'll send a few more troops in to help. These Americans look pretty poorly staffed, so hopefully we can make a difference. But actually, there's an Irish uh, infantry here of five troops. Six troops now with some Germans. All right, getting closer to Madrid there. They really are taking their time, though. Even when they attacked us over here in the east, they sort of skated by um, and didn't touch um, Stalingrad. They just sort of skated by here to the south to take Sevastopol, which I found kind of weird. Um, they sent a lot of guys to take Sevastopol. In fact, that's where a lot of their casualties in the late later years of the war, later months of the war, I should say, came from. Right, the French commune battles on, even though they've also capitulated. They have some armies in the field. But as you can see, our armies are getting hit hard and not doing very well. Douglas MacArthur is in charge of the defense. I 
and incredibly legionaries bulgaria fascist bulgaria essentially survived this entire war uh by siding with the allies i think that's kind of screwed up but uh who would what president was it that said he might be a son of a bitch but he's our son of a bitch i think it was eisenhower um i might be wrong but you know it's kind of that sort of mentality the the fascists fought for them to fight the romanians and the yugoslavians and hey you know what they came out on top can't blame them they made the right decision They're cutting off Tehran. What the hell? Desert combat. Looks like we're actually winning here. The last victory of the Soviets. And actually, these are French commune troops, but we are taking that port, which is quite funny. One point six zero million for the British. We were trying to get up to two million, but still, we, our first goal was just one million. That's that's a devastating loss for any country. Um, this would be talked about for obviously centuries to come. We're gonna go ahead and try to get the Irish out of here. So all of this is still French territory, interestingly enough. Despite France being defeated, I wonder how that works. How can they continue to fight? They are crazy. Right now, I mean, if I was controlling the Brits or the Allies in general, I could take Tehran very, very soon. They're really just playing it out little by little, taking their time. Okay, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, obviously, it's not looking good for us, but I will do my best to get you guys the peace results because I want to see them myself, but some of, sometimes these wars drag on forever. They just never end. It takes so long. Um, but we're going to keep going and see just how long World War III has lasted, and I will come back to you guys with a final peace conference video. Thanks so much for giving it uh, this uh, series everything you've got, guys, and we're going to try to, of course, do more series. For those of you that don't know, we have the French series coming up where you guys get to pick political parties and decide what happens in the country and how we steer the country towards either victory or defeat. Anyway, glory to the Soviets. Communism will always prevail and have an awesome, awesome day, guys.